I won the WWE Championship that night, but yet again, it was one step forward, two steps back. Triple H and Randy Orton teamed up to take the title away from me right after the match. Randy Orton has cashed in money in the bank! I was champion for all of about four minutes, which I've been told ranks among the top five shortest title reigns ever. So at least I have that to be proud of. Next chapter was all about facing adversity, which as you know, I had plenty of experience with up until this point. Week after week, I was up against the authority who were doubting my abilities and saying I wasn't worthy of being champion, which really hit close to home. I need to manage your expectations. Daniel, you might not be an A, but you are a B plus. My former trainer, Shawn Michaels, even joined in on the fun. Oh, and a sweet chat music! This was also the beginning of the Yes Movement. The chant had been around for a while, but now it carried more weight as a way for the WWE Universe to unite and express their displeasure with how it was being treated. So I started doing this thing, and other people started doing it, and then they start using it for their own things in something that's completely non-related to me. Yes! 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 So long after I'm done with this and retired, people may still be doing this for things that they're excited about, or to show that they want change. And I just think that that's really cool. But after a while, I could only take so much. I even got to a point where I felt the yes movement wasn't going to be enough to overcome the obstruction I faced. Maybe they were right. Maybe I was just a B plus player. So I said, what the hell? And joined the Wyatt family. I want you to open your eyes. This is the end. <laughs> I'm yours. Let me join the family. It was actually a lot of fun being with the Wyatt. Plus, it was kind of a no-brainer since I already had the beard. Welcome back to Raw and tonight's main event, a Steel Cage Tag Team match pitting Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt against the Usos. Well, the night started with a tag match between the foursome that ended in disqualification, but now the only way to win is by pinfall, submission, or escape. While the WWE Universe continues to beg for Daniel Bryan to see the light, this is Bryan's chance to finally show his new brother, Bray Wyatt, that he belongs in the Wyatt family. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Uses the headbutt. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Crazy to think of Daniel Bryan's path as of late. Just four months ago, he was on top of the world winning the WWE Championship in the main event of SummerSlam. And now he's in this sad state. Diving into his bag of acrobatic tricks. Close line. Clearly on a mission here. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Cole, I'm finally done rolling my eyes at your statement. You called gaining an ally in Bray Wyatt a sad state? Bryan took on the authority with no allies and came away without gold. Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan looking to escape the cage here. Trying to get up over the top. Meanwhile, the Usos try to run interference. 
Remember, you win via escape over the top or through the door or pinball or submission inside the ring. Oh, man. Bad landing. The Usos and now it's the Usos looking to escape. Jimmy and Jay looking to win this matchup. That's Harper and Rowan. Uh-oh, watch out. Wait. Oh, my God. The Usos win. What a victory. Oh. Yeah, but Harper just blasted one of the Usos. Rowan taking out the other. We got a fight on the outside after a absolute war inside. The Usos don't look very victorious right now. Jimmy and Jay, however, winning the steel cage match over Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt is irate. He is livid. Ray Wyatt seemingly master plan just backfired. Well, he's embarrassed, Byron. He's embarrassed he lost to the Usos. What are we witnessing? I've got no idea. No way. Oh, oh, oh. Daniel Bryan allowing himself to be a sacrifice for Bray Wyatt, or maybe not. Daniel Bryan defying Bray Wyatt. The WWE fans are going insane. This is not a smart move, Bryan. And now what is Bray doing? himself to Daniel Bryan. Maybe Daniel Bryan is starting to come to his senses. Oh, oh look out! Oh, he's got a lot of Bray Wyatt! And finally, finally the spell has been broken! Bryan's decided he no longer wants to be under the control of Bray Wyatt or the Wyatt family. Or was it a rules all along? Harper and Rowan, they're locked outside of the steel cage as Daniel Bryan Continues the assault on Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is in deep trouble as Daniel Bryan unloading. Bray Wyatt feeling the fury of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's been waiting a long, long time for this. And you have to wonder, guys, if this was a complete setup, if this was a ruse. Daniel Bryan is shedding the skin of the Wyatts. We know what's coming here. Kick after kick. I knew it was only a matter of time. There's no coming back from that. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. I'll be shocked if that's not it. That's got to be it. Let's take a look at the replay. That's highlight real material right there. Yes, yes, yes. Might be too late for him, but don't tell him that. Look out, he's the oh, brutal impact. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? Jeez, I felt that one over here. He's looking at it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Dangerous, but effective. Daniel Bryan is 
liberated. point on the end of this relationship. And the celebration from the newly liberated Daniel Bryan. Bryan soaking in the moment as he should. And the WWE Universe absolutely loves it. He's facing...